So I'm out here on the undisputed king, the BMW R1250 GS Wolf. It has been the king for a long time, it's been pretty lonely up the top there. But there is one bike BMW are shit scared of. And you may have heard that there's a new R1300 GS coming out right now. And a lot of people are divided about this bike. They've ruined it. Why has it lost its presence? Why does it look like it does? Why is it so? And in this video, I'll tell you why the 1300 GS is what it is. And to do that, we have to talk about this bike here. The Ducati Multistrada. This one here is the rally version. I got a chance to ride that. I've ridden both. So currently today, as it stands, BMW sell a little over 60,000 GSs a year. That includes GS Adventures and normal GSs. Ducati sell a little over 10,000 Multistradas. So you're thinking, well, what have BMW got to worry about here? Well, the first thing here is, you know, BMW sales are sort of plateauing. They're not spiking. They're not going down when it comes to the GS. But the Multistrada is going up. And actually, the Desert X is like a rocket. That will be one of the biggest selling bikes Ducati make. It's definitely going to be the second biggest selling bike for Ducati by the end of the year, the Desert X I'm talking about. And number one now is the Multistrada. It is their biggest selling bike. Ducati, the sports bike company, their biggest selling bike are adventure bikes wow that is just mind-blowing and you have to tip your hat to Claudio there he saw the market going to adventure bikes and that's an incredible feat to switch from a sports bike company now to an adventure bike company bravo Claudio so going on those sales figures you might think well BMW are pretty safe here but here's the deal look at these demographics on the left I have demographics from a multi-strata video I done and on the right I have demographics from a GS video I done this in a nutshell is why BMW are scared of the multi-strata because with these demographics you can clearly see the boomers are more interested in the GS and the generation X and Y are more interested in the multi-strata this puts shivers down BMW's spine because the GS is their most important bike. In fact, the big adventure bike is where they're making all the cream. All these manufacturers want to be the king of that market because that's where they're making all the money. That's where all the innovation's going. That's where all the technology's going. In fact, Ducati said the Multistrada is the best bike they've ever made. Think about the bikes Ducati made and they said the Multistrada is the best they've ever made. Probably more accurate to say it's the most important bike they've ever made. So BMW know that the boomer market is drying up. People are getting older. They're retiring. Still going to be good for a few years. But you can see in five years time, Generation X will probably be the biggest market. And that's a problem for BMW. Because as you saw in those demographics, that generation and the next one coming, the Y generation, they are more interested in the Multistrada. So BMW had to do something, right? They had to make a bike that appeals more to that market. And yes, they have pissed off a lot of boomers. I've read all the comments. They don't like it. So why does this appeal to the Gen X and Gen Y, this Multistrada? Well, it's pretty simple. The Multistrada is the only adventure bike that can replace your sports bike, genuinely. Yeah, you can hustle those other adventure bikes, but the Multistrada, especially this rally here, and everyone to a man that's ridden the rally over the S, says the rally's better. Even for sports performance, it's better. And I agree, I've ridden both. And what I can tell you about this Multistrada, it is the only bike that can replace everything in your garage. You want a sports bike? It's a sports bike. You want an adventure bike to go off-road? You can go off-road. It's as good as the GS off-road. You want a touring bike? Now with the rally with a 30 litre tank, you have a touring bike, a very comfortable one. In fact, I own a GS. I've had the GS Adventure, now I've got a normal GS, and I would say the Multistrada for me, I know it's always different for everyone, it depends on your body type, but for me, the Multistrada is actually more comfortable. I think it's just because it's a little bit sportier, so there's a little bit of weight on my wrist, not much, but it takes a bit of the strain off my back. That's just a me thing. But this is why the 1300 GS looks like it does. The market has shifted. Gen X will be the biggest market within five to 10 years. The Gen X and Gen Y. Yes, we know sports bikes are dying, but now they moved on to naked bikes and street fighter type bikes, right? But the thing is, they may have a more comfortable riding position, but the suspension still sucks on those bikes for the roads, right? The roads are getting worse. So what's happening now is, with bikes like the Multistrada, you can get a bike now that performs like a sports bike or a hyper naked, and it's an adventure and touring bike as well. It's every bike in one. So screw the sports bike, screw the naked bike, let's just get a Multistrada that does everything I want it to do. 
BMW know this. That's why the 1300 GS has become, you know, smaller, more compact, more lighter, sleeker, sportier. Obviously trying to appeal to this market that are more interested in the Multistrada, the Gen X, Gen Y. And I've actually had people in the comments that were actually Gen X and Millennials basically saying they are moving from a naked bike to a 1300 GS. That is real. That is happening. And although the 1300 GS is going to piss off a lot of boomers, it's going to be popular with the younger market. The market that will go into the Multistrada, although it still is a fair way off the Multistrada. I mean, I'm not going to tell you which one's better out of this one, the Multistrada Rally or the, you know, the GS. But for me, the Multistrada is the only, you know, one bike does it all, can genuinely replace your sports bike. We know the current GS, you can hammer those things through the, you know, the twisties. They handle really well. The new one's going to handle even better it's got more power but you can't really compare that to 180 horsepower sort of super bikes right with the multi-strider you can it's got 170 horsepower it freaking handles like a sports bike it really genuinely is an impressive bike it's much better than the v4s this rally version although it's a little bit taller it has better suspension it actually handles better than the v4s i don't know how or why everybody said that even the guys from ducati that have ridden both bikes said that it wasn't just me they all said the rally was better even though it's got taller suspension you would think it wouldn't handle as well and it's got a bigger tank it's heavier it's not going to be as good but somehow ducati have done magic whereas like you ride a gs and you ride a gs adventure i've had both right there's a big difference right you go to the gs adventure it's a bit more of a barge right compared to the normal gs that's not the case with this multi-strata ducati have done some sort of magic where you cannot tell the difference with the v4s and the v4 rally like handling wise you couldn't tell the difference like it's 20 kilos heavier you gotta remember 10 kilos of that is fuel so in reality it's only like 10 kilos heavier you're not gonna notice the difference i found it better much better it soaked up the bumps better it feels like a handle sharper it definitely has a different rake on it and if i was going to be critical of it i'd say the front end a little bit nervous like when i rode it it was wet and i went over some crap on the road and i got a little bit of handlebar shake there but that front end on that the amount of grip the sporty feeling of it that bike is amazing and it's the only adventure bike that can truly replace a, you know a hyper naked or a sports bike whether that's what you want or not definitely we know that's what the millennials want that's why the new gs looks like it does and also it's going to be very interesting will the gs adventure be a 1400 with even more horsepower or do they have an m version so like a stripped back version of this you know 1300 gs with a 1400 motor in it something with 160 horsepower wolf now we're talking right imagine bmw do that have an m version of this gs with 160 horsepower 1400 motor then they could compete with the multistrada but currently as it stands this is the only bike that can replace your sports bike bmw know this and they've done the right thing in my opinion because in five years time this gen x gen y that's what they're going to want i do think they should still continue the old gs and call it the gs classic for people that want the range rover instead of the range rover sport right sort of that sort of thing right so anyway what do you guys think catch in the next one tally ho